Hey pimps, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Encore Animal Crossing. I hope you guys had a happy and safe 4th of July. By the comments I saw yesterday, a lot of um a lot of people were disappointed just because of the drought going on. Lots of stuff got canceled, but it was a good day. Um it was a good day for me anyway. I don't know. But um it's kind of weird. It's been like a weird year since all of the Fireworks shows got canceled except for like a few. I don't know. There are like so many shows that got <gasps> the toilets here again that got um canceled that it's just like ridiculous. But oh well. Hopefully you guys had a fun time without the fireworks. Um or watching them on TV like I did. <laughs> Anyway, I was going to buy a new shirt because look who it is. This is not Gooba. This is Madam. Yeah, Madam is here. I figured I'd make a appearance with her because we're going to be running errands today. We're going to be doing favors for people. So that's where we are. That's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to talk about um, a subject that people have asked me more and more about. And I can't believe I'm talking about for three episodes in a row. Wowzer sex! Okay, I thought you had completely forgotten about me, sex. <laughs> of course, can we help you? I have a perfect job for you. Oh gosh, Biddy. Oh, your Pokemon Pikachu! That's so sweet. I remember having one of those. Well, I didn't have one directly, but one of my sisters did. And um, she took it on a roller coaster one time, and man, that thing was like maxed out in points. It was so funny because that literally maxed it out. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been requested to talk more about ponies because I kind of just tagged that on to the end of yesterday's video when I talked about my favorite characters. Um, so fine, I'm gonna talk about it, and we're gonna pick up. Okay, good. This was an easy favor. We're gonna pick this up. I wanna see if we can put this in our house. I doubt we can, but whatever. So yeah, a lot of you wanted to know uh, my thoughts on all the pony characters in My Little Pony. <laughs> Which I find really funny since, you know, it's just been one of those kind of cult shows that I was like, I don't care. And then they were, um, somebody told me, no, it's the same maker as the Powerpuff Girls, and I was like, oh my god! So, I was just like, yes! Oh man, we can't put it down. Oh well. Um, so then I had to watch it. Plus, I loved toys when I was little. Those were some of my favorite toys. I remember playing My Little Pony with my sisters so much, because we loved those things. They're so cute. And I love that they're still around. But, anyway, I guess I'll talk about the characters, since I have watched, like, half of the first season now. I'm caught up a little bit more. What am I doing in here? For some reason I thought, oh, I gotta sell this. No, I don't. Um, but anyway, I revealed yesterday that probably my favorite personality rise wise, just because she's such a diva and hilarious, is, um, Rarity, because she's just like, <laughs> she's just like over the top with her style and everything. Um, I don't know. Uh, she reminds me of, to me, she kind of symbolizes my alter ego, because I'm super into like fashion and dressing up and all that stuff, so I can relate. Oh, come on! Freaking stationary! So I can relate when she's like, this outfit doesn't match these shoes. And it's like, you know, I, I just, I love that. That's one of uh, the things I love is fashion and putting things together and accessorizing and costumes and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, the part of me that doesn't match her is obviously she's kind of terrified to get dirty, which I'm like, yes, mud, let's go. And no, I like. How I'm running around right now as Madam is literally what I do in the rain. I don't like umbrellas because I'd rather just feel the rain because I love water. But yeah, so that's all a little bit different. But her like OCD, like everything has to be tidy. It just it cracks me up and it reminds me of how um, I can be with my stuff. So I relate to that character, I guess. Um, let's see if we can... Okay, good, because I don't like you, so I don't really want to help you. Let's go see if Emerald needs anything, because we hardly ever talk to her. Oh, Butterfly! We gotta catch this first. Um, 
so oh we scared it gosh dang it well that was lame anyway um so plus i love that she's a unicorn i love that rarity's a unicorn she's an underrated character i never hear anybody talk about her so i'm like oh whatever i'll talk about her she's my um favorite personality on the show so far i don't know um and then i also said that oh no i also said that i love Rainbow Dash, um, her appearance particularly, because I am a rainbow freak. So, obviously, you guys probably know- ANOTHER THING FROM Biddy. Anyway, you guys probably realize that by now with all this Rainbow Road action and Gooba's house entirely is rainbow, so, um, you know, I, I love her appearance. Personality, I love all of their personalities, I mean, I really do love all the characters, but she is- very much like Buttercup, like the tough girl that's kind of like insensitive or whatever and you know kind of tomboyish so I mean she's fun I like her character but she's probably not my favorite personality wise just because of that um, and ooh sweet isn't that what Rald's wearing when you first meet him? I think it is actually ooh furniture what did you give us? But anyway, I talked about those two yesterday, um, and you know, a jasmine bonsai, how sweet. I will say that I do love those two. I really do love Pinkie Pie too, just because she's so random and ridiculous, but, um, I, I don't know, like, I, I love characters like that where they're just over the top goofy and stuff, but, wow, we haven't talked to Cody in two months, how horrible. <laughs> I loved his face when we walked up to him. Um, but anyway, she's really cute. Obviously, I love anything pink, and her name is Pinky, which is another of my favorite characters from something else. This game! Wait, did he say he didn't need anything? I guess not. We'll ask Monique. And I don't know why we're asking Monique, but... Um, but she's really cute and really funny, and I have to say that I do love her, too, and her busting out in a song and just being so random but I feel like she's like the the favorite that's what I want to say is like most people are like I love her which I mean she is a very lovable character uh the three that I haven't really talked about because I would say those are probably my favorite three ish I don't know uh, those are probably my favorite three, but the other three that I haven't talked about that I really like is obviously the main character, which is like Twilight Sparkle or whatever. And, um, she's kind of like a Hermione character, so I'm like, oh, well, she's, she's fun and, you know, obnoxious with her studies and all that, but she's kind of just like that mediating, me is that a word? I don't know. She's like the mediator of the group, though, sort of. Um, but obviously she's a likable character. Uh, there's nothing particularly awesome about her that would cause me to say she's my favorite. We just talked to her. Why am I knocking on her door? But, um, you know, she is a really cool character. The other two, I always forget exist. I'm like, oh, what's the one with the wings that likes animals? I never remember her. She, I don't know. I always forget her. It's so weird. And a lot of you are like, oh, she's your favorite color, which is right, and she's, like, really sweet and everything with, like, the animal love, but I don't know, I always forget about her, so I have no idea. I guess she didn't have a very big impact on me or something when I first watched. And, um, oh, come on, Candy, doesn't anybody else need a favor? Rizzo, we know that you like to have other people do your dirty work. Um, ah, Blue Bear! Anyway, but yeah, um... I guess I'll start with her, Fluttershy. A lot of you have said that you love her, which she's really soft-spoken and sweet and, you know... What? My buddy Cube? I'm not going out of town to get this freaking watch to Cube. And I don't even know where Cube lives. He moved out of freaking Degrassi. Um, no. I don't know what you... If we had that watch, we would never not have that watch. It would, we'd just have it forever. I'm sorry. Well, there you are. But anyway, uh, back to my Fluttershy talk. I do love that she's like the animal lover and the like gentle one. But she's kind of like... I feel like her and Pinkie Pie are both like extensions of bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. And, um... 
I don't know. She just isn't a big standout character to me. I guess because I always forget about her. I, I obviously am not a gigantic fan of her. I mean, she's really cute and sweet and everything, but I guess that's why she's not in my top three. Um, but, you know, I do like her character. And, um... Lastly, Applejack, I also forget about because she's like the country one. And I am not like, I don't know, I'm not a big country person, I guess you could say. So I'd kind of butt heads with that, which is why I relate more to rarity. But, um, yay, Pierce has a favor for us. So we're going to do that. But anyway, she's really funny, though. I love all of her weird little nicknames and stuff that are like, what? Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how I feel about Fluttershy and Applejack. They're both like the two that I always forget about, and then I'm like, oh yeah, they're cute characters. But, um, you know, all the characters are great in that show. It's really a well done cartoon of today, since it's not really hard to be a well cart- It's actually not hard- Okay, what am I trying to say? It's not hard to be better than the cartoons that are out there today, is what I'm trying to say, but even so, it's a really good cartoon. Um, I will give it that. But, hi, Pinky! We need to get a camera from you! Um, but it's true. Like, cartoons have gone downhill so much that nowadays it's like, if a cartoon's even relatable to what I remember from when I was a kid, it's like, oh wow, that's like a really good cartoon right now, when all of the cartoons when I was little just seemed to be way better. I don't know if I'm just biased because I grew up with them and they've got like nostalgia, but I don't think that's it. I think it's just the writing and the animation wasn't all this computerized crap and or it wasn't, you know, people starting their own web show with a the funny blonde best friend and the older brother who's an idiot who she lives with. I mean, none of that stuff was happening. Like, the shows that had real people in them were actually good shows. You are not Claude. Why am I talking to you? Um, you know, like, I loved, like, Clarissa Explains It All. And, you know, it's such a cheesy show, but it really was, like, I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't so unrealistic as to how the shows are now, where it's like, I feel like everything now is geared towards, you should become a star! And it's like, that's like such a self-centered, like, no wonder everybody's spoiled. I don't know. I run into a lot of self-centered, centered, excuse me, people. Or, I forgot, Mint lived here. Shoot. I haven't talked to her in days. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like people act more spoiled now than they did before. And not that kids haven't always been spoiled to some degree. I mean, certain kids, obviously. Why can't I find Claude? Um, but it's just like, it's worse because it's influenced to be like, you know, popular number one, like you're a movie star when you're seven and like you're a princess and it's not just like oh you know you can be whatever you want and make your dreams come true it's like that's what you are so you need to have that attitude and then you've got all these kids that are like you know think they're the shiz and it's like you don't even know what you're doing like I don't know that's my rant with influence of children's TV today <laughs> I don't know like I said maybe I'm biased because growing up with so many cartoons like I did, I grew to love them all, and they just seemed they just seemed like they offered better material than what the shows of today offer. I don't know, but it, it brings up an interesting argument, so feel free to share your thoughts. Um, but anyway, I was impressed. I have to say I was impressed with how My Little Pony is as a cartoon in today's, you know, it's no longer the 90s, so... There you go. Come on, Cla Oh, there you are. Okay, good. We found him. I was going to say, I don't want to not finish this freaking task and end the episode because, you know, Madam is making her appearance by being helpful. Okay, hey, if it isn't my old bud. Um, okay, yeah, that's because we never talk to you and we need this freaking camera. For God's sake, give me the camera, somebody. 
How many people in a camera around? Come on now. Don't loan out your camera when it's not even your camera. Don't loan out somebody's camera who you secretly got from somebody else who borrowed it from their cousin's sister who borrowed it from so-and-so's best friend and then... L no! That is a bad thing to do. Don't do it. Um... Alright, here we go. Now this better be the end of this freaking task. Also, next week is Love Week. Um, because that's when we're revealing all of our couples. So any final thoughts on that need to be submitted by tomorrow in the comments section of either today's video or tomorrow's video. Um, so yeah, Love Week coming up. Woo! I'm excited. Um, even though we have like one couple going, the rest are just kind of like, oh, whatever. And then we're going to have some singles, obviously. Some people who can't just, they don't have anyone right now. No one's good enough. I don't know. That or no one matches. What is this? Is this a good piece of furniture? You do good work regardless of what the others say. Wow, thanks. That makes me feel really good. A lefty desk? Sweet. Cause I always wanted a lefty desk so I could use my right hand. I am a righty, by the way. I am not left-handed, so this desk would not benefit me very much. Alright! Well, this has been Madam's appearance of doing errand after errand after errand and pony talk. So, yay for that. Um, Alright, you guys. Well, this has been Madam Wario. And I'm going to sign off for today. I will see you, pimps, tomorrow with some intensity.